Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is time for my final video for my Stamp Joy Fall 2022 video series. I hope you'll stick around to see what I got, made, and bought during the event. And at the end of the video, we will be opening together the goodie bag I got when I toured the new Tailored Expression Studio, and I'll be announcing the winners of my button giveaway. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you didn't know it already, I attended Stamp Joy Fall 2022 in Des Moines, Iowa with my daughter, and I have a whole series of videos here sharing that experience. To see all of those, I do have the individual videos and the playlist linked below. It was a great time, and if you're ever thinking about going to Stamp Joy, I hope that you'll check those out to get a better idea of what it's like. I know this video is a bit delayed compared to the others. I just kind of lost track of time and hadn't sat down to make it yet. But the kind of neat news is I think today is a perfect day to make it. Spring 2023 Virtual Stamp Joy just opened up for registration. So if you're watching this between December 15th and I think December 30th of 2022, you still have time to register. I will put a link in the description box below because so you can find out more about it. Now I went ahead and I signed up for the event itself and I added on the extra class. So I am all ready to get crafty in March of 2023. Now if you've already signed up for it, let me know in that comment section below. Now let's get on with today's video. What I'm going to be showing you is what I got at the event for that entry price what I made at the event, including at the two classes I added on, and what I bought. Then at the end of the video, we'll open up this little goodie bag together and I'll announce the winners of the buttons, which if you were here for the beginning of the vlog, you know that I made some personalized buttons to give out to other attendees that had my information on it. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at what was in the goodie bag at check-in. When I checked in on Friday, I received my lanyard and this bag full of goodies. Not only did it hold everything we got and it was handy throughout the weekend, but look at that sentiment on it. I definitely agree with that. The lanyard on the front had our name and then on the back, if we took the classes, it told us what time they were on each day and it told us the selections we had made for meals, which let me tell you this was handy to have because when you register for your meal in I think July and you're eating it in October, who could remember that far what we had ordered? The first thing that I took out of the bag was my package with all of my make and take goodies. Now this is pretty empty now because I have made all of the cards, which I will show you later. But inside were 10 baggies, one for each make and take, and it would have any card bases you need, any matting, adhesives, just whatever you would take around from station to station to make your cards. Now when you would go to the station, you would use the die cutter there or the dies. They had misties out with the stamps. It is so well organized. And then if I had anything left over from the make and takes, I just put it right back in those baggies. Everybody in attendance got a 10% off coupon for using after the event. Then we got a little flyer about the show special, which was you got 10% off at the on-site store. And if you spent over a hundred, there was a special stamp and stencil bundle that you got as well. They gave you a schedule of what was going to happen each day. That was handy to have if you didn't know. And then you got some shopping lists. 
So this was what you could find out in the store on site. Many of these were Stamp Joy exclusives. And then you got a sheet for each of the make and takes. So if you really wanted to create make and take number one, they told you all of the products that were used at that table. And to help you get around and find your classes and the stations, we got a map. The next thing in the bag was a fun apron. Since many of us were taking an alcohol link class, they thought this might help us protect our clothes. And I love that. It says, I'm creative. You can't expect me to be neat too. I feel this. I do. So it is a great quality apron. Has some pockets. It's adjustable. I have already worn it a couple times at home when I get crafty. Then the rest of the bag was just stuffed with goodies, both from Tailored Expressions and from some of the sponsors of the event. We got this fun little sticky notepad with a rainbow design at the bottom. Brutus Monroe gave us some embossing powder. I got prism pink and it's just like a real fun, bright, glittery pink. Deco foil was there and we got some of their adhesive transfers and this is actually a Tailored Expressions design. Brutus Monroe also gave us ribbons, and I think people got different colors. And we got some fun sequins. You know I love to make shakers. We got a Stamp Joy 2022 sticker. This would probably be great on a water bottle. I might put it on my laptop case. This was probably actually in the box with the make and takes. These are envelopes for all of the cards we made, and then we got some fun envelope seals. There were two die sets, Garden Variety and Rustic Pale. I'm not sure, these might have been exclusive to the event. I'm not positive, but that was just fun to get some extra dies. And I got a snail mail pin. I think these varied too. I think Presley got something different in Lisa's bag. You know I love to collect those pins. Next was a Share Joy ballpoint pen. And then finally, are some six by seven pockets from Stampin' Storage. So these will be great to keep some stamp sets or stencils in. Now I'm gonna show you what I made at each of the stations. And once again, the parts where these were inside of that plastic container in the goodie bag. These are in no particular order because when you're there, you can go to whichever station you want. You do not have to go in from 1 to 10. You can skip around, you can take breaks, you can go out and shop. That is up to you. Over here on the right was a home decor piece we made. They had already pre-put on the twine and painted the little hexagon shapes here. We die cut the basket and then with felt, we die cut these flowers and rolled them up. I was a little bit worried about rolling flowers, but it ended up being pretty quick and easy. Let me know if you've ever done this before with felt or with cardstock. Here is a little gift card holder we made. Had the snowman on the front of the pocket and then inside you could put the gift card. I just love this little unicorn on this fun fold card. The hair was colored with Olo markers, which my daughter fell in love with. You know I love a shaker card. Loved making that. Now this card, this uses the die sets that I just showed you that I got in the goodie bag. So they just showed you how you can kind of lift up some of the petals on that. We had a fun wood grain in the background. Here's a card we did some ink blending and foiling on. Love that. I think this might be one of their pre-printed panels with toner. This next card, Praying For You, love the vellum, love the die cut sentiment. And to get these corners, we actually stamped in each one and then we had some stenciling to color them in. We made a Christmas card with a fun die cut layered poinsettia and some embossing with, um, we touched it with the ink pad to help that stand out. Next up was this mini slimline dragonfly card. This was made with a stencil and then we used a coordinating die to cut one of them out and pop it up. This pretty thank you card, there was a piercing plate we used in the background. We did some white embossing on cardstock for the flowers. Oh, 
I almost forgot. So these weren't the make and takes, but out in the front, they had some different stations that you could try out. And this was um, Christopher Allen from Brutus Monroe made this when he demonstrated the stick and stamp mat, which if you haven't watched the video with that whole demonstration, you've got to see that. That thing is so handy. I love it. And then deco foil was also out there and we got to do some foiling and I just kept the extra. Here is a look at all the projects we made at the make and take tables. And this is all included in the price of the ticket. Now, if you're going to take virtual Stamp Joy, what they do is they send you kind of the same thing, that clear box with the individual envelopes inside with like your card bases and your card, um, card fronts, die cut card stock. But then you also get like a stamp set that has all of the different stamps you need for your projects. For the fall stamp joy, they had two classes that you could add on. I decided since I had already paid so much and it was about the experience, I did go ahead and do them both. Friday's class was called Scenic Route and we made four different cards. In the baggie that you got for class, you got all of your supplies and then you got an exclusive stamp set, which I'm going to hold this still so you can read the sentiments. There are so many good ones on here. I love, love, love this set. Also in the packet were the instructions in case you didn't get everything done in class or you want to recreate them at home later. And then finally, one of my most favorite things we got during the weekend was from this class, and it is still dirty, please forgive me, but it is the Create in Quads layering stencil set. So there are four stencils in here. There are like eight by 10 close to that. And you ink up each one with a different color and you build scenes. Seriously love this. I hope they come out with something very close to this in the future. Definitely going to buy it. They did say it might be exclusive to Stamp Joy and not released. So like I said, we made four cards in class and you stencil those and then you cut your cardstock into quarters and you get four cards. Now we would do different techniques on each. Like this one, we sprayed some pixie spray and then we foiled with that. I'm not sure if you can see that shine. We made a couple that had frames on the front, one with the same pattern that you stenciled, and the other one was just a craft frame. And this one, we did some stamping onto vellum, and we added some embellishments. I absolutely love these and can't wait to try them out with different color combinations. On Friday night, there was dinner and then Craft Olympics, but before we ate, we did a little make and donate session together. Taylor was up on the big screen in that main room giving instructions on how to make cards. Now we made two, we got to keep one and donate one. Unfortunately, I can't find the one that I kept, so maybe I donated them both. But we got a stencil set to make the cards that we then got to bring home with us. So it was a three piece stencil, which once again, haven't cleaned these yet. And it makes a birthday card. So one layer you stenciled happy birthday with some confetti. And then the other layers just had more confetti that you could then put in different colors. Such a fun idea. After dinner was Craft Olympics, and I was on a team. We didn't make it to the finale, but I think we got cut in the next to last round. So everybody, no matter which level you got out on, you got a prize. So I'll go ahead and show you what was in ours. We got two different enamel dots. One was gold matte and one is rainbow. And then we got tiny diamonds in the pastel family. So if you've ever done like diamond painting, that's what these are, but they have ones that kind of match their ink colors. So these are good for shakers or just for adding on fronts of cards as embellishments. I almost forgot about the card swap. Before the make and donate, if you wanted to, you could participate in that 
Presley and I both made cards, which we did share in one of our vlogs. And then we handed those out and got one in return for every one we handed out. Now, I'm not a big person to go out there and talk to people I don't know, but it was loads of fun and we got lots of inspirational cards. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like a quick little video where I share a look at each one we got with you. We did share some of our favorites on our live from the hotel room. On Saturday, you could take the second class, which was alcohol inks, and I have tried them in the past and could never figure it out, so I thought it would be good to have somebody right in front of me there showing me how to use them. I'm still not sure if it's my favorite. I think I might be a little bit more structured than alcohol inks, but I did have a lot of fun, especially seeing how much Presley loved it. So once again, we got a little envelope with our goodies. We have the instructions here. At the table was a little bottle of alcohol blending solution. And inside of our packet, we got two different dyes. We got some alcohol ink cardstock, which there was some left over from the class. And then of course, everything for each of our cards. Now let me show you what we made in it. We got started by playing around with the inks on a tile coaster, so here is mine. Now when Presley and I got back home, we made tons of tile coasters. We really did have fun with that, we made some different sizes. Then we started learning different techniques you could do, and I think we made maybe three or four different alcohol ink blended pieces, and then we turned those into cards. And this is what we ended up with. Again, there was a different technique for each one. Like on here, we added foil while the alcohol ink was still wet. Here, we cut a piece in half and you could have actually then made two cards with it. And over here on the right, we did actually make two cards. So we alcohol inked this piece and then we die cut from this and used it on a second card. I am glad I took the class and I know that I will be giving this a try again in the future. Let me know your thoughts on alcohol inks in that comment section below. The rest of Saturday was spent finishing up make and takes and that's when I did my shopping and that's what I'm going to show you now. I know this seems like a lot and I usually never buy this amount of stuff. But not only did we get the 10% off and the free gift with the purchase of 100, but I had saved up for months to go to Stamp Joy. I knew that I wanted to be able to buy what I liked in the store. And I will have to tell you, I did control myself and didn't buy everything. At the on-site store, sometimes they have items that are only available at Stamp Joy. So I will link what I can find in the description box below if you're interested, but others it might be a little while longer before they come out. Usually when the next Stamp Joy rolls around, they do release the previous items. First up, I got lots of stamp sets. I got two simple strip stamps and these are just lots of sentiments on one sheet and then I have a die to cut them apart. I got simple strips background and simple strips friendship. So this one's all about friendship and this one has a lot of different occasions. You might recognize this card. I did mention that wood look in the back. So I did go ahead and purchase the stamp. It's actually the shiplap background. I just love that kind of weathered look and it could add texture to lots of different kinds of cards. This next stamp is called Hey Crafty Friend and it's just got lots of good sentiments that if you're gonna send a card to one of your crafty friends, this might be appropriate. Now most of Tailored Expression stamps are red rubber unless it's something that you might have a stencil and stamp combo with. These next three items are called On Occasion. You have your stamp set with the sentiments. You have some foilet panels, which they're already pre-printed and you can use your um, toner foil on it. And then finally, I did go ahead and buy the dies for these. I just really love how it cuts them out so intricately. 
Speaking of the sentiments with intricate cutouts, this was a Stamp Joy exclusive and I have used this so many times. I absolutely love this. It is the Sending Hugs sentiment and then there's a coordinating die. Just a couple things I bought because are these crafters going to craft stickers, kind of like with the Stamp Joy one we got in our goodie bag, I'll probably put it on my laptop. I got an extra one just so I can stick it somewhere else. <laughs> They also had products in the store from the brands that were there demonstrating. So they had like deco foil, um, stamp and storage, I think it was, Olo markers, and then Brutus Monroe had some stuff there. I've already showed you a few times since I got back. I've used the stick and stamp mat. I actually bought two of these. So this one's never been used, but for $7, I wanted to have an extra one. I did also get the matte mist that is scented like cupcakes, which was special for tailored expressions. And this is what you're to use to clean these. Again, one of my vlogs has Christopher Allen telling all about this. Make sure you check that one out. I will make a note in the description box below which video had that. They also had some of their stencils there. So I got kind of this paint swoosh one and these fun rainbows. And I know I did not need this and I haven't opened it up yet, so I'm keeping it in pristine condition, but they debuted their new Teal Misty that weekend. And since I could get 10% off and Teal or Aqua is one of my favorites too, I did get this new Misty. This is an original size one and I don't have the newer version where they have your magnet garage, so that will be nice. And then the rulers on this one are Teal. Again, didn't need this, but I'm glad I got it. And finally, this was the gift with purchase. So it's a stamp set with the ornament and four different sentiments. And then you have a stencil here that goes with it. So you can either stamp the ornament or you can stencil it. Before we get to who won the buttons, I do want to open the goodie bag that I got after the tour of their new studio. If you haven't yet watched the vlogs, you totally have to. I was surprised when I got there to find out that I and my daughter Presley got a personal tour with Taylor. It was amazing. I was in shock. So definitely make sure to check out that vlog. I believe it was um, the last one, like maybe vlog number four or five. I will make note of it in that description box below. Once we went through the tour, they had some snacks and water, and then everybody walked out with a goodie bag. Now, I haven't opened mine yet, so I thought we would do that together. All right, first off, some embossing powder in Cookie Monster, so one of Taylor's favorite colors, and mine too. We got a pack of pattern papers. These will be great for Valentine's Day coming up. I don't know about you, but I love to make lists. So I will be keeping this handy. It says organize chaos and you can check off what you do. When you make a list, do you put down mundane things like wake up, get dressed and then check them off so you can feel accomplished? Sometimes I do. Then we got a share joy ink joy pen, which will be good for making and checking off list items. This is a fun little decor piece. So these wooden pieces are magnetized together and you put one at the top and one at the bottom to weigh it down. And then there's a little hook to hang it from. Now I did get one of these a couple stamp joys ago. I'll have to see what mine says. And if it's the same exact one, this might be a good giveaway. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned if you're not already. And finally, let's see what's in this little bag. Lots of different stamps. Oh, cute. So here is a spider web. The word hello. With love on our anniversary. A little gift with a heart. And wish big. Now this one has just a J and a Y. So you could probably put little icons in the middle for the word joy. That's really cute. All right, now it's time to announce the winners 
of my hashtag card maker buttons. I showed these in the first vlog where I showed how I was getting ready to go and the stuff I was making. And these are little pin back buttons. They say A2 and easel and Z fold and shaker and slimline and gate fold and then hashtag card maker. I do have t-shirts like this in my online merch store and I will link that in the description box below if you would like to wear your hashtag card maker pride. Let's go ahead and go over to my computer and we will draw for all of the winners. Viewers who were interested in winning one of my buttons left a comment on vlog number one with the hashtag hashtag buttons somewhere in their comment. I am going to be using YouTube random comment picker today and all I do is paste the URL into there. I'm going to narrow the search with those that have hashtag button in it and then I have 29 eligible comments and let's go ahead and pick those five winners. Congratulations to Party Planner Papery, Nancy Fleming, Sue Allen Clark, Lori Beck, and Lindsay Piers. Thank you to everyone who took the time to enter the giveaway and congratulations to our winners. What I'll need you to do is send me an email at callmecraftyal at gmail.com. Now that is at the bottom of my description box so you don't have to remember it. And let me know that you won one of the buttons. Then come back to this video, leave a comment below with the first three letters of your email address. Once I have compared the two or made sure the two matched, I will get with you to get your mailing address. I hope you enjoyed all of these vlogs from Stamp Joy. If you haven't watched them all yet, I hope you'll take the time to do that. It was a great time while I was doing it and I have almost just as fun re-watching the videos myself. So if you have enjoyed this series, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.